Are you a nurse and you're looking for opportunities to migrate to the United States to work as a nurse? This video is for you. I'm going to be sharing with you how you can make this process faster because USA is notorious for the long immigration process for nurses. I met a colleague recently that told me that she's also an international nurse and how she got to the United States and the process it took her from the time she decided to want she wanted to work in the United States and the time is she eventually got to the US the whole process took her 14 years and I was surprised because that is maybe the longest that I've seen that somebody actually waited to work in the United States. When I moved to the United States two years ago, I did meet colleagues that said that it took them seven years, eight years, but I have not seen anybody that it took that number of years. And that is because the US immigration actually differs for so many countries. Some countries, they have a lot of huge backlogs. They, they call it retrogression or something like that. And so if you are applying from such countries, she's an Indian or so she, if you applying from India they said that the backlog is up to more than 10 years right now so if you are even if you pass your NCLEX and everything before you can get your green card or EB3 it will take that number of years so she told me that so many of her colleagues are beginning to use this other option that are making me to actually make this video I've talked about it previously with a lawyer and another agency and because it's so new I feel like a lot of people are still taking advantage of it well when I heard from this Indian nurse that a lot of her colleagues are beginning to use that option and it's actually fast I feel like all of you here my family should be able to know about it so that you can also take advantage of it so make sure you watch this video to the very end so that you understand what's going on and you can make informed decision hi everyone if you are new on this channel welcome welcome and welcome all of you who have been following this channel and supporting me and all this way that I've been away messaging me and asking me your questions I really appreciate all of you if you are here for the first time please like this video subscribe Drive give me your feedback and always come back okay That's so nice. so for you to work in the united states as a registered nurse there are two popular visas that can actually make that possible oh well one popular and the other one that people are beginning to use and the first one is eb3 eb3 so eb3 is the one that gives you the green card and that's the one i use so to get the eb3 visa it takes a while and it depends on the country where you're from so for some countries i believe maybe it will be faster for some other countries where they have a lot of people that are actually in the United States from those countries, it takes a number of years. For for India, it's 10 years plus. For Nigeria, I believe their years are also going up and it takes time. So for me, it's the whole process took about two years and that is because maybe I was applying from um, the UK. So and so, so for so many people that are in Nigeria as well, the, the years are beginning to extend as well. The beautiful thing about the EBT, EB3 visa is that you can travel with your family members. It's a permanent visa, uh, um, a permanent a work visa for the United States and after five years you are eligible to apply for the US citizenship so it comes with a lot of benefits but the process is long and for so many people that are moved with EB3 for nurses they were they were able to apply for this visa with their diploma and then they now have the option of upgrading to bsn that is the bachelor's of nursing when they get to the united states so there is the restriction is a little bit lower so for the second visa type that people are beginning to use that is fast is called the h1b visa this visa allows you to move with your family members but the requirement is a little bit higher so for the h1b visa you need a bachelor's degree or higher and it has a cap like like for every year they issued about 65,000 new visas every year but they also have an extra 20,000 visas for people who have master's degree and up however if you get a job in some organizations that may be NGOs I will leave a list on the screen NGOs teaching hospitals I believe some other governmental organization if you get a job with them those employers are exempt from the cap okay so that means even though there is a cap but if you get a good job you get a job with all this some edge this company that i'm going to be sharing with you at the end i feel like they have a lot of um, hospitals that are maybe non-governmental or maybe um government hospitals that if they are they help you to get a job with those people then the exemption or the cap will not affect you so this particular verse of visa is actually good because of the fast processing and why you have the h1b visa you are allowed to apply for your green card that means if you are allowed to to 
that means while you're working in the united states you can actually apply for your green card and the the h1b visa is for three years the temporary visa and it's for three years and after that three years you are eligible for an extension for another three years you know that i'm not an immigration lawyer or anything but i'm doing my best to explain it the way i understood it okay so i'm going to leave the link where you can also find the information about these two visas and the organization that i'm going to talk about again i want to emphasize that i'm not affiliated to any of these things that i'm mentioning or any of these organizations that i'm mentioning but i'm just sharing with you because i believe that some most of my successful videos are the videos that i've actually seen people using and those are the videos that i actually consider so, um successful that is the videos that i share and people actually use it and i find them like in the uk and the us or thereabouts okay so i feel like this is one of them where i have seen somebody that actually told me oh this is what people are doing this is what's happening around me and i feel like if you use it you are going to be successful like to a higher degree okay so now this uh, uh, company is called the global nurse force so global nurse force i tried to find other companies remember i'm going to share the link to the video that i made already for the ones that are helping nigerians and i believe other african countries this particular one i feel like many of their nurses are from india but i believe that even if you're not from india you can check them out you can contact them and see if they can help you i believe they help everyone okay so their name is global nurse first so this global nurse first they will help you uh, it's a direct hire direct hire i believe this is really good because like from my experience maybe i'll make another video to actually talk about my experience what it actually feels like to work with an agency okay so this is a direct hire which is really good so if you they help you to get a job you are going to be paid like the nurses that actually work in the hospital and the beautiful thing about direct hire that i'm beginning to realize is that when you are working if they employ you and they know that you are international nurse and they are doing their orientation they will orient you as an international nurse and that makes a huge difference because for my own experience our own um, orientation and everything was with the agencies and when we eventually got to the hospital they also had their own orientation which included all their other nurses that are new and during practice i noticed that some of them are clueless about what it means to move from another country to work in the united states and you know like there's a difference so if um, you have a company that that or a hospital that you can work with directly that actually knows that they are getting nurses from abroad and orient them as such and then the hospital will get used to international nurses coming to their hospital i believe that it will be different because um, in the uk i worked in the uk in the uk they when you um you use a, an agency to move to the uk usually it's direct hire and the hospital already know they precept you like um, someone that is from um, abroad and I feel like it's a lot you know the difference is more so I will make a different video maybe explaining all of the different you know what it feels like because I feel like my experience is the same with the other nurses I'm beginning to meet in my new workplace like they are also international nurses my experience is almost the same like theirs and I feel like we should be able to be informed so that we'll be able to make an informed decision so this company I'll leave the link in the description so you can go on their website contact their recruitment team and see if they will take you on board and help you to realize your American dream and as fast as possible as well if you enjoyed this video do one thing for me like this video subscribe it costs nothing share this video to other nurses that you know that are interested in moving abroad or interested in, in working in the united states let me know what you think in the comment section if you have contacted these people in the past what's your experience like and for my friends from nigeria from india from other countries that are in the process i see all of you all of you that send me messages telling me that you passed your nclex and all of that even these months that i'm trying to find uh, you know that i don't really have time to come on here to share videos like as you all know i'm studying and as i'm going for that in the study like it's getting more hectic job and all of that so but I'll do my best to keep coming here to share valuable information. Thank you all for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.